and my friend. Today we're gonna talking about self sabotage. Huh? What's that? <laughs> well, one type of、uh, limiting belief, and、uh, we are not knowing it. We been we been doing it daily life and have a certain kind of pattern happen, and we did not know we are doing it, or we just think, well, they just happen, and we without doubt about that situation. We're gonna zoom in about self sabotage. Give you some. Example, like one of my client, he told me, um, he have a learning、uh, disability when he was young, and he never thought about. Uh, he's a smart guy. An interesting thing it happened to me too. Like when I was at the school, because we are military family, and the government pay for kids, uh, a military family kids, uh, free education. That's a bad to the country. And my father told me, um, I just keep my grade sixty, that is seventy sixty. As long as I can pass, he's a fine. He not require me to be super good. So for me, I just think okay, I just be sixty. As long as I pass my grade, that I won't get in any problem. And I never thought about I a smart kid. And then later on. What happened is when I grow up, I have covered my. If I want to、uh, study anything, I have come out the money from my pocket, able to go to the school. And then I found out something that if the person, the student, is have a good grade, it will be very easy. To find a, a scholarship, president reward, anything. So because that motivation, so I focus study, have a good grade. I never have a problem to funding myself under the scholarship. Even I graduate from college, and I end up with president reward. Because that motivation, and cause me to say, "Huh, I'm pretty smart." It, it see the different. At the beginning, I never saw I as smart kids, and under that certain situation, because I have the funding myself, I have to find the money to support my education. Then end up I focus study more, and I get a very good result. Same thing, for people have the situation when they was young or they are little. They have a certain thing happen for them. They never know. Like one of the client, his parents divorce when he was very very young, and he was shocking, and don't know. How to handle it? The parents divorce because he is not good, or the parent don't love him. So how confusing it is, and then cause his reaction. He's right now over sixty, and so his expression is very. Um, no expression for, for on his face. So when people talk to him, he like send like this, and people don't know he's happy or not happy. Do you hear me? 
Oh, do you understand me? And he have a difficulty to express himself. So he say, "Hey, Grace, why are you talking about this? Is go check out your daily life, see yourself, the pattern. If something is difficult for you." And zoom in what the course is, and once go in to dig in, you will reveal a lot of mystery and why people will react that way. Give you some example. Like one of my client right now, she's a fifty-ish. She told me she have a difficulty for、um, her behavior. What happened is she will eat the food. After the food, she will force herself to spit out the food, and I was like, "Hello, you just eat it while you take it out." But she can not like control herself. That been happened at least over thirty years. So we went back to check what's going on, and then found out when she was little, there are five kids in her family. The mom was very difficulty to. Spend money to raise the five kids, so she have to, the mom have to, lock the food in the, somewhere. Otherwise, the kids will very easy to just take it, and eat it, and then during the whole week, will not have enough food for the kids to go to the school, for the lunch or something. So the mom will be protect the food on purpose, lock it in somewhere to save the food for five kids for through a whole week. For the client situation, we have to go remove all the the young age trauma. Once we clean out the pattern in the. Present time, the situation, the behavior will change. Also, another example, another my client. She's about seventy-ish, over seventy. She have a situation. She will pick her nail, like a hair nail. She will like, I think, or pick, and then she think. Well, in order to stop this behavior, better to have a manicure. Once have pretty fingernail, maybe she will stop doing it. It doesn't work. It even put the artificial acrylic nail over. She will buy it, chew it. It doesn't work. <laughs> so. What we did, we go back to check on when she was young. She have she under a lot of stress because she have to、um, support herself, go to the top, a、uh, very good university to be the best student. So she under a lot of stress. So when she feel nervous. She would pick her nail and then change her attention. So we clean out that limiting belief in the past. So now she's okay. Now she don't need a fancy manicure. She can relax without picking the hand nail. So those example is seems like a very small thing. If we're able to go back 
to check our daily life. Anything, the pattern, and some kind of um, I wouldn't want to say not normal or some pattern cause you a problem, and then we can go zoom in to see what's going on, and we can clear out the pattern and have a better happy life. That is the end of this video for today. I hope this helps. Please check out my other videos. If these spots are interesting in you, please contact me. Consider book a one-on-one session with me to help you handle sabotage situation. This has been Grace Lu of Transformation with Grace. Take care. I see you next time. Bye.